Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to game number 19 or 20 of Tentalica. 19, I think. 19. 19. Got Fashbinder here to do a commentary with us. Um, got a guard guy. One one guard at 1500 TV. A claw pommer, finally. Really good carrier, dirty player, some reserves. Playing against Poon Shanks with an 11 man Norse team. Some piling on. Um, some strength, some mighty blow, some dodge, some strength, and he's lost more than he's won, which is good, isn't it? Um, but he does have a TV advantage, so I'll get a babe to try and decrease the chance of getting banged on. And uh, right now, I shall I shall go off and leave you with Fashbinder. Oh baby, how about that glorious four strength dauntless? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. How about long term, he might turn into a ball carrier with uh, agility access, four strength lodge carrier. Not too shabby. Looks dumb short term, but long term wouldn't be bad. Yeah, of course they're just um, they're just ball carriers, really, aren't they? Um, um, the runners and like Dauntless is a nice little extra that's sometimes relevant, but not something you rely on. Right, I'm sure. That has a good now. point. Well, that I, oh, wait, wait, wait. That I was about to bring up. Uh, your bank. Yeah, 150k. If this guy had a better record, would you have induced a little bit more? Yeah, I would have got a wizard if 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 he'd had a better record. Or oh. maybe a bribe. But um, probably he's a wizard. Wizards are the most key thing, isn't it? I'm not going to be afraid of buying wizards. Um, you know, trying to win every game. What, one loss. Absolutely. One loss almost certainly kills me, doesn't it? So, um, yeah. Right, okay. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, so it's a uh, strip ball, mighty blow, Zerka. Dirty player lineman. Uh, no bench for the Norse. So uh, any damage will be permanent. Jimmy will foul AV7. Uh, DP will likely start on the field. Uh, Yeti not scary, but has block. Uh, two four strength options for the Norse, in addition to the two wolves. And the other Zerka is a POM. Both wolves have block, one of whom has blodge. Oh, you can see the skills. Good guy Jimmy showing skills. And then a Mighty Blow lineman. Oh, they got guard. Absolute madman. Your strength access on your wolves and your berserkers you don't need it on your linemen. Guard on linemen, 100%. Uh, Jimmy, 100% wins this go out. I don't think it's 100% in Blood Bowl, but nine times out of ten, he'll win this game purely on the fact that the Norse have no bench. And, um, yeah, poor skill selection. There's nothing really scary. And LOS for the Yeti. Yeti is going to get fouled. No doubt about it. And boom. Boom's Fowler, as Jim would say. Norse down to, down to 10. Ah, Norse ah, down to ah. 9. Boom's Fowler. All right, we did win the last one. Ronnie Summer, absolutely did. Uh, different things for different folks, Tomo, and uh, different people play for different objectives. So for me, I get a bench as soon as possible, as I'm convinced that in the cold ladder, the only way that I lose games is through random Kaz that has me down 10 players. Well, not 10 players, but a lot of players. Holy shit, three from three on the LOS. Unbelievable. So Jim's going to sort of turn eight and bang every single Norseman that he can. I'm looking to further, <laughs> further remove the Norseman. Not blocking with block though. We're all gone. Little things like that. I guess he didn't really have a guy with block. Oh man, so excited by his LOS. 
could have made some safer plays. I guess he wanted to have people free to react to be able to throw down the foul. But man, that's an amazing start. That's how I lost my Auslead final for the World Cup. I lost three, uh, three on the LOS and just got banged on. Denied some glory. Feels bad, man. Yeah, look, amazing start for the game. I think the rest of this game will be pretty dull. Jim will just be making two dice blocks. Eventually, more Norse will be removed. Uh, I've played a couple of Norse teams. In fact, uh, my last two games were against the same guy with the higher TV Norse. And uh, didn't get any Kaz till turn you know, 14 or so. And when you play against Norse and they never get removed, it becomes quite a bother. But up three from the start is absolutely glorious. Oh man, poor old Norseman pushes. 75% down him twice. And so Jim will definitely bring a guard across and uh, blitz the wolf, and then the zombie will hit the Zerker, and then a foul will happen on the Zerker. Norseman just <laughs> just losing his shit's gonna run away for no reason. It's turn one. I don't think Jim will even advance here. He's gonna 100% bang down those walls and then look to make some base contact and and deny. Absolutely. Oh, for shame. But look, Claw Palmer in a good spot. To making the exact play that I would have. Turn one, don't need to run down the field like. Wouldn't mind the Pestigor being one square further south, just so you can get a block on the. Uh on the Zerka, and then get a good foul. I guess it does the job anyway. Absolutely, it'll be... Oh, man. Is that the third one in nine? I think it is. And the poor old Norseman, after running away, realizes, well, perhaps I'm a little... Uh, might even just attempt to dodge his Zerker away. Uh, but with the body of the downed rotter, the wolf's going to have to be making a 5-plus dodge. Might even see the pommel on the ground in the vicinity of the dirty player. So, I mean, that's the one way it doesn't, doesn't pile on. That was wise. But then again, by not piling on... Probably getting blitz. Maybe piling on was the way to go. I mean, Norseman definitely down two. Even then, look, even getting Kaz doesn't really as a two-man bench. I mean, getting Kaz would make the drive a little bit less rubbish. And now bringing in men to protect the Pommer. Uh, after the gym blocks down the wolf and the zerker on the left, will just envelop the uh, the guys in a big cluster. If you can get his guard free and put guard in a good position, it'll be fine and dandy.
I might even dodge the wolf here if it was up. Oh man, unbelievable. Double power. I was thinking I, was thinking I would have dodged just to not take the pom hit. Because regardless, he's taking the pom hit on his wolf. Uh, but with that double power, uh, it'll be a little bit of a man commitment for Jim. Uh, well, uh, like two men. But two men is more than zero men, which was the initial uh, position. Wouldn't mind some safer moves first from Jim. Oh, baby. Doesn't need pile on. Lost a point in strength. Oh, baby. Oh, the strength loss persists. It must have been a strength loss into death. Disgusting. Might even take the push here, make the block with the ball carrier uh, for the extra shot at getting someone on the ground. If he stands up the down fellow, it's a three dice here. Yeah. Very good. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, baby! And so, it's games like this is why I don't play Norse. Dest for gore. Holy smokes. That's a last lot. <laughs> he definitely is. Absolute dominant position. Maximum of seven Norse for the rest of the game. If the KO Yeti comes back, assuming that nothing more happens, it's turn three. I think from here you'll just see a four man's. I'll be disappointed if Jimmy doesn't four man's next turn if he's able. There's no reason not to try and continue this drive. Like when you're up one or two, you still want to be a little bit careful. But when you're up five, you just go ham. Go absolutely ham. And he has the capacity to. Not only in a good foul on this down fella, um, but fully enveloping the North team. Into a concede, unsurprising. That guy was never going to win that game. But a bit of a shame for Jim in that he could have got more, uh, more Kaz, more SVP. Well, sad, sad times really. <laughs> the one time a game was going amazing. Um, yep. You know, I could have, I could have absolutely got six, six star player points on Ducky Fagors. Absolutely. And more star player points on Mash Fagors. Oh, more star player points everywhere. Yeah. Shit. Shit. I think that had was... he not conceded and had you surrounded him and then, you know, fouled someone out and you've been up six men, uh, you could have just scored incredibly. It could have been a you know five over. Yeah, it could have been two for Ducky Fago and, and one for August Leprad. And one for oh, I could have I could have actually skilled up both Warriors yeah. and Ducky Fago that game. Shit. Um, 80k is a pestigore, isn't it, to shave off the TV? No oh, man. Get banged on. So, yeah, as so amazing as that game was. Have, have lasted for more than a minute. Yeah, it was amazing as that was. It was, um, it was a bit shit. So, um, thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.